So, my name's Glenn Hodgson and I'm Head of Healthcare here at GS1. And I'm just going to spend a few minutes setting the scene. And you know what it's like, because many of you have stood on stages similar to this, when you're thinking about setting the scene and you're making a presentation. About four weeks, usually, before the presentation is due, you kind of start to formulate in your mind what you're going to say and what your key messages are. And typically, two weeks later, you sort of open the laptop, put some slides together, get too many, chuck a few out, but kind of really hone down what you want to say. And actually, this is what happened to me. Um, until last Saturday, when I lifted up the laptop after last week being at NHS Confederation, looked at my slides, and just shut the laptop, because everything that I was going to say was kind of not as relevant as I'd hoped it to be. And there's a reason for that, because at NHS Confederation last week, not only did we get to see the six leaders of the NHS on one stage of the regulatory bodies, we also got to hear from Simon Stevens. And also, importantly, for over an hour, we got to hear from this chap. And the Secretary of State was, was there, um, and uh, this is one of the better photographs uh, that, that Pete took of him. <coughs> I, I chose it because you might see the background. Um, and, and it was really quite unusual because what was very important was that we now have a, you know, a majority government and with a guy out there who is our Secretary of State. Um, and it was, this was the first time since the election he could kind of put some colour to... Um, his strategy. Um, I'll come back to Jeremy Hunt and what he said in a minute, but after his, um, after his speech at the main hall, um, a honorary member of the GS1 uh, UK team managed to grab him, and uh, we took him here. He came, he came and talked to us at our stand about the GS1 standards, um, and it was really quite exciting, and, and I must admit the team and I were feeling very proud. Our egos were feeling a little bit uh, boosted by this ability to explain in, in some little detail to the Secretary of State about the benefits that GS1 standards could bring. And I was still feeling that sense of pride about an hour, hour and a half later when I ring my wife and I, she says, how's it going? And I said, it's absolutely fine. She said, well, I've actually just seen a clip on the news. She said, I've just seen Jeremy Hunt interviewed. She says, I'm sure I saw the GS1 logo behind her. And I said, absolutely brilliant. And I says, and guess what happened after that? He came and he spoke and asked. And I said, can you, did you ever imagine in your wildest dreams that I would actually be discussing the implementation of government policy with you know, the Secretary of State for Health? And there was this ever so slight pause. And my wife said, Glenn, you don't even feature in my wildest dreams. <laughs> Jeremy Hunt, on the other hand, Anyway, I get a slightly ahead of myself, and I'd like to just show you, I say, Jeremy Hunt spoke for over an hour, a lot of it was reported. I just want to share one minute with you that I thought was uh, most, most relevant to us in this room. It is just wrong that once a week, somewhere in the NHS in England, we put the wrong prosthesis onto someone. It is just wrong that twice a week, somewhere in the NHS in England, we operate on the wrong part of someone's body. Twice a week, somewhere in the NHS, we leave a foreign object in someone's body. And I am so proud that the NHS, because these are problems that happen all over the world, but it's the NHS in England that is asking the difficult questions about this. It's the NHS in England that's determined to blaze a trail across the world. And I want us to be the first healthcare system across the world that says we are going to adopt the uh, standards of safety that you see in the airline industry, the nuclear industry, the oil industry. And we're going to reap the benefits, not just in terms of patient care, but also the huge benefits in terms of efficiency. So two big takeaways, standards in patient safety, standards of efficiency. He also went on to talk uh, quite a bit about Lord Carter's efficiency review. And I'm not going to spend long on that because I know John Warrington is going to talk to that in much more detail and much more colour. But I took a couple of things away from what he said about Carter. One was that 
the actual interim readout from Carter is due imminently if it's this week or next week, but it's, it's certainly this month. But he also said, and this was quite, I think, challenging, and this is something that we need to focus on over the next couple of days and beyond. He said that in September, Carter is going to produce a efficiency saving target for every NHS trust. And that between October and December, he will discuss this with the individual trusts. And I think his exact words were then, and then in January comes the difficult bit when we have to implement those savings. Moving on from Hunt's speech, we were then privileged to sponsor and talk at a workshop. At that workshop, the Department of Health, through Owen Inglis Humphrey, was able to announce the next stage of the demonstrator program. And again, I won't steal John's thunder on that, but it was a fabulous opportunity to say real momentum going on. So in closing, my message to you is, is simply this. Patient safety, regulatory compliance, operational efficiency. GS1 standards can help you with all of those. There is a difficult path ahead with much work to do. The guys in the orange ties are here as your trusted advisor and the experts. Make full use of them today and beyond. Because why are we all here? It's all about working together to improve our NHS, your hospital trusts, and the best possible outcomes for every patient. Thank you.